stop the beat. All these niggas approaching me, trying to fuck with me, but I don't know you niggas. You tell your business to a bitch, so I can't trust her. Steady calling me for bricks, but I can't trust her. Nigga told me you a snitch, so I can't trust her. I'll tilt the TV, you heard me? Black Balloon Records, we in the building, showing major love. See, I fuck with y'all the long way. I told homie when I touch y'all, I'm gonna call him up. You know, real niggas do real things, you feel me? I don't forget about the niggas that showed me love, you feel me, when I was down, so I'm gonna fuck with you and bring you up with me, you heard me? Yo, the TV, you know what's that, man? Vicky just touched down. We came to bring that pain, man. For all them Christmases you missed, you know what I'm saying? All them nice children in hell, we coming to get that bag, man. Second verse, do it over. Screaming, free me till they see me. Now I'm live in the flesh. Videos in the slums. I be live on the set. Talking about me to them hoes. Why my name in your mouth? Shorty asked me, was I coming? So I came in the mouth. Rappers say they be thugging, but never came in the south. Loyalty is all I know. That's what made me a boss. Seen squares in my circle, started changing them out. Real hustler, so I never mind taking the loss. Back in 12, me and Trail did our thing in the drought. Trap house, count figures with a K on the couch. If you ain't living like we living, better stay in the house. 18 at the table, conversating with a boss. Don't know what he seen in me, but homie believed in me. Now they jumping on my dick, but fuck them. We ain't friendly. They trying to kill an image. I was built for this shit. Stepping on a nigga toes, you get killed for this shit. Whoever who want it, whoever who TVZ is die, man. You hear me? Tilt the TV. Yeah, man. I'm fucking with that. Yeah, man. Y'all better link up for y'all pockets shrink up. You hear me? Real talk. And that's how that's going, BBG. Yeah, man. I want to shout out Tilt the TV. You hear me? Black Balloon Records, we in the building. Showing major love. Talk about that. We got a little high haters, man. Oh man, I've been bouncing from jail to jail. You hear me? I had a little two, two and a half bid. I did. They gave me ten. I had a year of credit already. Got me a year of good time on the road. Went on, came home. But you really banned me on the string of my music. You know, really living my music. So they felt like that was a bad influence. So they went on, and took me out the streets, and violated me on both of my own sentences that I had. My probation. They both for me instead of running together. They went on here and ran a while. You know what I'm saying? They up the road. They judge shit. They ain't tripping though. I feel to be home, man. Oh, man, it feel great. You feel me? At the end of the day, a lot of people ask me that, and I say I shouldn't have never even been in that bitch. So at the end of the day, I ain't really on some shit like that. I shouldn't even put myself in that position. They can walk me out like that, but it won't happen again. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just blessed to be back, you feel me, with my family. You know what I'm saying? The niggas that show love and back in that booth getting that motherfucking real shit to them. You know what you missed the most? My motherfucking kids, <laughs> my motherfucking freedom, you feel me? When a nigga got something to live for, I'm mean, like, shit. You go to jail, man, every fucking second, come, you ain't got something going on. If you ain't got nothing going on, fuck jail, the best place for you. Shit, I got a life on that nigga. So like, why you think like man, when people go to jail and they get out, they get like a, a higher status or, or like people gravitate towards them when they come home? You know what I'm like, with the exceptions of like you know, child molesters. You know what? You know what I'm saying? When you a rapper and you go to jail, you know you got a lot of fans out there. That, that, uh, you got a lot of people out there, a lot of people that pay attention to that and then be like, damn, he a rapper, he must really be living that shit. And you know, they be missing what you got going on, so they be ready. You know, they go to feeling sorry for you, like, damn, man, that nigga really in jail with a lot of motherfuckers that got this and that going on. So they go to looking at you a whole type of way, like, 
shit, we can't wait till that nigga come on. That nigga really going through something that's considered as a struggle when you go to jail. No matter if you a rapper or not, you know that's a struggle and that would make you equal to everybody else. Cause once you in a situation like that, people can relate to you and know that you going through the same shit they been through. So when you come on, I mean, you know they gonna have their arms open, uh, wait, waiting on you to drop some shit so they can fuck with you. You know they gonna have their attention, but it's all, all on how you come out and what you do when you come out. You know what I'm saying? I'm smashing. What's up, man? So, uh, who's some of the people that kept in touch with you? Oh, man, the BBG family, you feel me? I need to feed you, feel me? The streets kept in touch with me, you feel me? A lot of my motherfucking fans kept in touch. I get fan mail a lot. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the people that did that. You know what I'm saying? You know, got the ride of dives out there. You know what I'm saying? Writing something that you were able to write while you was in there. Yeah, yeah, I did. A, I did a lot of writing, but most, most of all, I wasn't really focused on just writing a lot of music. Cause I was going through a lot in jail that had nothing to do with music, which was still getting me a lot of knowledge and stress. So I was really just getting my mind right, really, because it wasn't the music. It was more so the shit I was doing and the people I was hanging around. That's what really I was focused on, like placing my people in my life and in my circle. You know. Some better people that's gonna help you get to the next level. You feel me? I pull them out. Cause the motherfucking judges and the probation and parole officers, they don't want you around a certain group of individuals that they know that they ain't fit for. Them bitches gonna violate you. You know what I'm saying? I could first, I'm one of the first rappers that you could be really seen that happen to it with no drug charges, it with no dirty urine or nothing. It was straight. We don't like the fact that you rap gangster music and. You in violation and we gonna roll y'all, that's what it was, it was nothing else, you feel me? So I could tell you young niggas out there that's on paper and on parole, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be careful when you out there violating, cause if you get too popular, them bitches will lock you up. Yeah. 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 I ain't gonna lie, fuck with that nigga Jesus, I heard that nigga shit like shit. You ain't gotta be one of them old super lyric guys, nigga, you just gotta be going through some real shit, some real street shit, and that's what I came with. But it was more, mostly my life story and my struggles that I rapped about. You know what I'm saying? I wrote that shit down, I started putting that shit on, 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 on wax and Trapped in the hustle, that shit was so real. And everything that came with the game, you feel me, we went through it. From the streets to the rap shit. So at the end of the day, that's, 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 that's what keeps me in it. Like, cause they got a lot of motherfuckers out there going through a lot of shit that I be going through. And they be telling me, like, man, I be keeping my day with you. You feel me? So shit, that's the inspiration right now. To me, I ain't gonna lie, that trap in the hustle, that's one of my most proud of this song due to the fact that every lyric on that bitch was pertaining to the way I was living, what I was going through. And as soon as you type my name up, that's what pop up. So I feel like that's the song that everybody fuck with. That's the video, you know everything. That bitch is perfect. That's my life. If I was shooting movies, that's exactly how that bitch go. What you would say, man? You got? I said you got legendary status, man. What you think about that, man? Shit. Yeah, you want to talk? If, if we looking at the rap game right now, motherfucker, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas ain't giving you that shit I'm coming with right now. Niggas scared to talk about what they really going through because niggas ain't doing shit right now. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of entertainment going on in that rap game. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hating on a nigga. Nigga do what they do, but I ain't got time for that. You feel me? This shit all about the niggas. I come from an era where you know you had niggas really talking about something. So my, my style gonna be different. My lyrics gonna be different. This shit real. You know what I'm saying? That's a man. Talk about uh, Black Balloon, man, like, day one Black Balloon. For the right, you know, me and Fee, we put this shit together, so it's like, that shit go hand in hand, like Slim and Baby, so every artist that's on Black Balloon, they, they, they here for a special reason, and not because they were just artists, and like family. So when I see a nigga got something in him that remind me of me, automatically I gotta fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? It really be that work ethic and that struggle niggas go through. And I just be want to pull a nigga out and let them put that shit towards their music. You know what I'm saying? Make a nigga feel like they got something to live for. Man, so speaking of Slim and Baby, man, what's up with the rich gang?
Oh, you know, my people, they, they had came in close contact with them dudes while I was away or whatever, and they had got a little tight relationship. You know, Finn and Slip on, baby, they fuck with each other tough. You know, so at the end of the day, I don't really know what it's hidden for. Ain't no contracts and nothing like that been signed or nothing, but we fuck with Rich Gang. You see that nigga Birdman rocking that black balloon, you feel me? I know y'all seen that. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, it was understood, don't need to be explained. He fuck with us. Oh uh, man, that's my motherfucking bro right there, man. What up? What is that? Total TV on it? Total Crown? What up? What it? Yeah, so, no. nigga just touched down. Nigga back like you never left. Yeah. She just want the peace. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a nigga that kept in touch with me, you heard me? You know, this, and this strictly off music. This ain't no I make this nigga in school with nothing. It's a nigga that rushed out to the show now, but you fuck with all music. I told that nigga, since you a real nigga, I'ma go ahead. You just slide out here, come fuck with me on my first day out. Yeah, I got you hit them with that Frank White. You know, that shit you niggas can't do to me in this two feet, so I can't trust. But most got for the cold to say the figure of the main kids. You know what I'm saying? 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 The rap game ain't like it used to be. That big, you know, that shit like, you know, just come and go type shit right now. Like, what you think separate yourself from the rest of the you know, the, the game. Shit on me and they do. You feel me? I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't really pay attention to what niggas doing and what they ain't doing. I know I'm me. You feel me? Once I, once I put my shit on wax, I'm me. So whoever fuck with me and whoever live like me, they gonna fuck with me. You feel me? Yeah. And now that a lot of these niggas out there getting money, they can relate to me more. So, you know, big ups to them and whatever they got going on. Oh, that's Blue Bleeze. You already know what it is, man. Yeah, man. man. Countdown over with, man. Yeah. You know what it is, man. Big song. It's a fucking movie, man. We global with this shit, man. BBG at that, Fuck. man. We fucking with that tip. The TV. Yeah, y'all really finna see some real shit. Y'all about to together. really see this. Nigga, that was the missing family. Yeah, be on but everybody silent. Yeah, believe that. Kinda good, just fuck the streets up, you know, cause it's been a long time since you seen niggas come together. Everybody divided. That's what fucked it up. Oh, right. Yeah, so when y'all come together and show y'all niggas this movie, you feel me? I'm gonna turn about this fuck it up. I'm gonna do it. Every nigga see this, you know, be bossed up, and we gon' humble ourselves and show love to everybody out there that's fuck with us. That's a nigga goal to touch all they fans, you feel me, in a physical form. That's a nigga goal, you feel me. Fuck the internet shit. Man, so man, you wanna spit something, man? You wanna talk to the streets, man? Yeah, I'ma hit y'all with some shit, you know what I'm saying? This some shit I wrote. <coughs> I was in um I was up there at Rivers. They had put me in um in a church dorm to get some good time. You know what I'm saying? So just being around that, being around in that type of environment. I learned how to put that type of feel with the street music, you feel me? And they was teaching us about the Bible. I ain't know nothing about the Bible, you feel me? So as I worried what once I learned what ghetto what gospel meant, that means spread the good news. So that's what that's what Pac did. So I say, nobody never read the Bible to me. I thank Pac for preaching that ghetto gospel to me. I heard knives on that I am and it was written. Nostradamus, Illmatic, legendary lyrics. He had the endless vision. Project life, murder and drugs. Music is power, never thought it would turn into blood. The people that you hang around trying to bring it on. Saying hey for things about you when they play your songs. Keep God first and never let them get the best of you. And keep a lawyer nigga next to you. I can't win for losing. They crucify me for my sin for music. Say I'm responsible for anyone that listen to it. And if I ever led you wrong, I never meant to do it. I write rhymes about my lifetime. I'm not at all selling records of a deep evil person. But they just want to take your soul when they see it's working. I'm perfect. You feel me? That's the type of shit I would come with. I got a lot of shit where I don't even curse. I just be giving that reality. You know what I'm saying? That real shit. What's up, man? You got any shout-outs, man? Uh, man, I just want to shout out everybody. If you if, if you rocking with Black Balloon, I just want to shout you out. And most definitely, I want to shout out Tilted TV, the whole Black Balloon family. You know, 
we coming strong, man. Everybody that's fucking with the movement, I swear to God, we love y'all. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't a fan, we gonna make you a fan. We got too many flavor. You feel me? So y'all gotta fuck with it. I just wanna say, free my nigga XO. Free all my niggas behind the wall. You know what I'm saying? All my niggas out there getting money. Be ke be careful, man. Be safe and be loyal, man. Okay, man that's what's up, man. Appreciate it. Shit, man.